sorry for making you deal with that. That was kind of a bust. I'm getting warmed up here. Ah! I'm getting warmed up. I gotta eat something. I'm getting warmed up. Don't worry. Kickstarter TV, a bike trip for two by Melody. I'm gonna read this one in Melody's voice here. Let's see what she's got. Let's see what you got for me, bitch. Come on, bitch. I'm calling you bitch because I'm giving you an opportunity to prove yourself in front of millions. I bitch, okay? If you were just a regular woman, I would never disrespect you like this. Melody, I'm gonna read this in her voice. I was lucky enough to be born in the beautiful Pacific Northwest where I was raised and homeschooled by a single mother who was legally blind. Well, you're gonna be awesome and so cool to listen to! I can already tell you're gonna have such good ideas! <clears throat> we were poor, so very early on I learned the importance of saving and budgeting. After working hard at school, I started college when I was 16 years old. During my college, I focused on American Sign Language and Deaf Culture <laughs> in order to be an interpreter for the deaf. Fresh out of college at 18, I experienced my full bit of culture. Is that it? <laughs> you know what? You know what strikes me, Melody? First of all, Melody girl, you're amazing and you can do anything a man can do, including anything I can do. Melody, you're so awesome. You can do stuff that I can do. <laughs> Melody, you're so cool. All right, you cunt. Let's see what you got. And the reason I'm calling her a cunt is because I know that she's going to be so amazing. She's got so much talent and so many skills and she can program a computer just like a man could so don't you call her a woman don't call her a woman picking up the italian language and since then i've traveled to 12 different countries yeah well you probably haven't even had hummus have you it's a middle eastern dish okay it's something that i learned i i learned how to eat hummus when i was abroad you probably eat it wrong I have backpacked solo through Ireland, Mexico, and Nepal. What? She backpacked solo? Sound the alarm! This is crazy! A woman backpacking solo? The most difficult hike I've experienced was when I hiked... Fuck you. I decided I wanted to try my hands at opening a business, so... Working three jobs and saving every last penny, I opened a small and quiet coffee shop without taking out a loan by the age of 24. You what? You what? <clears throat> you what? What? Now, unless <clears throat> by coffee shop she means some kind of fucking hipster lemonade stand where it's just her you what set up out of, out of her car, I don't really believe that by age 24 you're going to start a coffee shop without taking out a loan. What? I kind of feel like there might be some parental involvement here that we don't know about. Because if you were that savvy of a business person, you might not be online begging for money for your road trips. I don't know. That's just me. Hey, don't no, that's just me. I don't know. You what? Oh, I bit my roof of my mouth. You what? She must be a really hands-off business owner if she can afford to take four months away from her coffee shop business. She must have a really good, a really good person helping her out. What? She can afford to go on a that long of a vacation. How is, she, how is her busy coffee shop going to survive her long vacation? Oh, I don't know, because mom's helping me? You what? Because mom and dad are helping me? What? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I, said what, what? I also I pursue said other interests and a life of adventure, which includes skydiving, bungee jumping, hang gliding, surf climbing. parasailing, rock climbing, back paying for lessons to fly helicopters. So what? I like cool shit, too. Malady. Okay. I like video games, I like motorcycles, I like fucking t Japanese tuner cars, alright? I don't say these things to people and expect them to give me money for it, though. Yeah, um, I need $5,000 for my 2JZ <laughs> rebuild. Please, my drift car. I need, I need $20,000 because I like drifting a lot. <laughs> I love to experience new things and to keep my life from growing stagnant. I hope to live this way as long as I exist. <laughs>
There are men who do this too. There definitely are. I hope to live this way as long as I exist. <laughs> I want to be a cool international hedonist. <laughs> a woman saying that. I just want to have fun and no responsibilities. I just love. I just love to hear that. I'm sorry. There are men who do that too. Here's her tumbler. I couldn't decide what kind of cookie to make, so I put raisins. Raisin haters be damned. Chocolate chips, cinnamon, molasses, oatmeal, and bourbon in them. They smell amazing. Let me take a picture from my tumbler right now. Thomas and Wheat Thins. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> she depressed? I'm depressed. Oh, she's... Oh, my God. Fuck you. Well, <clears throat> I haven't seen a project yet, but I know we're going to have our worlds rocked here, guys. You ready? You ready for this? We're about to get our worlds rocked. <laughs> <laughs> $73 raised. A Tommy gun! <laughs> oh man, and I bet at her little coffee shop she had signs posted up, please support me on Kickstarter. Yeah, and she's telling everybody that buys coffee, yeah, I'm going on a trip, I'm going, I'm trying to raise money for a trip. I guess you won't get to live this way for as long as you exist, will you, Melody? Mom and Dad were perfectly happy to pay for it when you were a kid. You know, there were growing experiences. You were learning, but not so much anymore, right? 